Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and welcome to this week's Advanced Balkan Architect course. Now we're up to part 4 of uh, my advanced uh, series where I show you how to go from basically nothing to complete project documentation for a multi-story office building in Revit. Part 4 means that we're up to 4th hour and if you want to get access to this course just check out my Patreon first a link in the description of this video so you follow that link you sign up and you get access to the whole course as well as all of my other other advanced Balkan architect courses. I've got like 30 hours out so far, so there's a lot of content there. Also, you can get all of my project files, like this building that we're building now, but all of the buildings that I've ever done in any tutorials, all of the families, like three, four hundred uh, files uh, there that you can download. Anyways, moving on, let me show you where we're at with this building because I've done a lot of stuff in this uh, in this course, so let me show you all of that. So let's switch to Revit and here, as you can see, this is the building. Now let me go here into the first level floor plan and here I start off by playing around with the stair. Now if I hover over the stair, uh, it kind of highlights like it's grouped and when you select it, it says multi-story stair. So we basically stretch or expand our stair to cover the the whole kind of the whole length of the building and also we open up a shaft for not just the stair uh, but also the elevator here as well and this here uh, ventilation shaft area which which is of course necessary for all of the uh, ventilation elements within the building so first I cover everything how to do uh, there also I show you how to do the railing how to set it up correctly uh, and uh, how to make it well uh, correct uh, uh, under uh, all of the regular for railing. Moving on, uh, if we open up this section again and if I zoom in, uh, you're going to notice that this stair, it's a uh, just that uh, the classic monolithic concrete stair, uh, but uh, as you can see over here we have some sort of a cover, so basically I show you how to cover your stair uh, with some stone. Usually it's it's nice to have some sort of a cover over the stair, you don't want to leave it like uncovered, just concrete, so I show you how to add these stone plates or stone uh, cover on top of your stair and how to modify the stair, the monolithic stair family to include that. Okay, moving on, you can notice that here we've got a lot more stuff done. So we have a roof here. Now the roof uh, is, uh, if we go into 3D, it's a flat roof, but of course uh, even flat roofs have some slope for drainage purposes. So if we go here into the section, you can see that everything goes uh, down to this point. So basically this, we have a kind of a line in the middle of the building where our drainage uh, line is and then it, we have that tiny little slope so I'll show you how to set that up in the uh, in roof layers and also how to adjust the walls around it correctly. Okay so we have that roof done and also if we move down here you're going to notice that we have foundation so I've uh, modeled a correct foundation now, now Foundation doesn't include just the like the uh, floors or, or like the slab foundation slab but it also includes this slab edge that's uh, done for reinforcement just because of these foundation walls and also I show you how to set up the correct foundation walls uh, just because we have to have if we go here into this section we have to have a different type of a wall here uh, for the foundation than we have here for the rest of the building now we have to have some sort of a insulation from all of the water things like that so I show you how to do that uh, for the uh, for like the foundation slab as well as this foundation wall that we have in our uh, in our underground level as you see we have now this new foundation wall in the underground level okay so that's pretty much uh, all that I cover in this course I go in detail and show you everything troubleshooting how to solve any problems that pop up during uh, modeling uh, these elements and then I show you how to solve all of those problems and yeah that's it. So that's what we cover in this uh, course. So if you're interested in checking that out, first link in the description, you'll get over 30 hours of content if you sign up and of course all of my Revit project files. Okay, so that's this. That's it for this quick little announcement and I'll be back with my regular Balkan Arctic tutorials in a couple of days. Uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.